So now with Corona and we're constantly cleaning things, sanitizing and disinfecting, we definitely need to keep our hands and cuticles moisturized and protected. Here are my picks for moisturization and protection for the hands and the cuticles. I split my picks into categories to make it easier for you in case you want to choose one thing from each category or just one type of product. So I'm going to start with the lotions or creams. This is the only hand cream that I have in my collection. This is the Eucerin Urea Repair Plus 5% Urea Hand Cream. I actually got this in Germany at an Apotheca, which is their pharmacy. I looked it up online here in the US and apparently they don't sell this, which is awful because this is a great hand cream for those of you who don't want to have fragrances in their products. This is a fragrance-free hand cream. It actually doesn't smell like anything, which is great. And for those of you who suffer with contact dermatitis, I have two patches of eczema right here. Using fragrance-free products is going to lessen the irritation that you may experience. I believe Eucerin does make a fragrance-free hand cream here, so I will link it in the description box along with everything else that I'm talking about. What I like about this hand cream is that it's lightweight, but you definitely feel a little bit of thickness or heaviness from the moisturization. Urea is a great ingredient for protecting and moisturizing the skin. It also contains ceramides to protect the skin. I did mention this in a favorites video that the only thing I don't like about this product is that it doesn't do anything for really dry cuticles and my cuticles are the absolute worst. So I decided to try my trusty moisturizer. This is my all-time favorite moisturizer for face and body. It's the Vanacream Moisturizing Skin Cream for Sensitive Skin. The reason I love this is because it's non-greasy, it's fragrance-free, and it's very moisturizing. It's actually a miracle worker for those of you who suffer with irritation. Even on rashes or eczema patches, flare-ups, I put this on and within a couple minutes, that irritation and the itchiness absolutely gone. Even the redness. It's a much thicker moisturizer. Vanacream does make a light lotion, but just in terms of moisturizing really dry hands, this is perfect. It's thick, it's moisturizing, but it is non-greasy. So although it does take a bit of time to sink in, you can still go about touching things without leaving a greasy mess behind. If you are looking for something that is more lighter weight than the Eucerin and the Vanacream, you can try the CeraVe Daily Moisturizing Lotion for normal normal to dry skin. I know it's a giant bottle, but it's a value size one that I got from BJ's. They also sell this at Bed Bath & Beyond and I think Target. CeraVe, as you know, is a great brand just like Vanacream because they have fragrance-free products and all of their products contain ceramides. The texture of this lotion reminds me of a gel lotion. It's very lightweight, it's watery, and although a lot comes out, when you put it all over your hands, it could feel a little bit greasy, but again it's just a moisturization it's not actually greasy it sinks into the skin a lot faster than the vanity cream and the eucerin i think this is a great product to have especially if you are at home because obviously you can just pump it out whenever you want to when you're in the bathroom or in the kitchen and you need to moisturize your hands after washing them having something in a tube like the eucerin or the vanity cream are great to have in your bag if you're working outside but if you do deal with like super chronically dry skin and lotions and creams, they just all irritate your skin or you just need pretty much a barrier, then I recommend trying an ointment. I have two ointments always in my arsenal. I'm not sure if I want to keep repurchasing Vaseline because Aquaphor does everything for me. I love Aquaphor. It's fragrance-free again. So is Vaseline. They're both great for protecting cracked and irritated skin. So obviously because they're ointments, they're not meant to actually moisturize your skin. They're just meant to keep the moisture in your skin. They are very thick. They are very greasy. They probably won't ever actually absorb into the skin so much where you can just go about touching things afterward, but you can always put on gloves after that and then go about your business. Pairing it with gloves over top is really going to help keep your skin really soft and moisturized. My cousin suffers with psoriasis and he can't use anything else but Aquaphor so I definitely recommend picking up Aquaphor or even Vaseline and trying that out. Now if you're more of the natural or clean type person, using an oil is great. You just have to know which oils work best for you. Coconut oil is my favorite for my hands. This is organic extra virgin raw coconut oil. I 
believe you can also use fractionated coconut oil. The reason I love coconut oil for my hands is because it just works the best at moisturizing them as opposed to whenever I try to use like jojoba oil. Jojoba oil works the best for my face. That's also why I use a different oil on my body. Oils are just so weird with the body. Not one type of oil works for like head to toe. But with that said, obviously oils are super oily. Coconut oil can be very greasy too. It does take some time for an oil to absorb into the skin fully. So you can try a lighter weight oil like jojoba oil, but I find for me coconut oil works the best. A close second to the coconut oil is avocado oil. This actually works for both my hands and my body. It's because it's a lot thicker than jojoba oil. And lastly, this has been a game changer and I've been using this for the past, I believe two or three days days only and I absolutely recommend getting one or making one. This is a cuticle oil. I bought this a long time ago. This is the Essie Apricot Cuticle Oil. I'm surprised they even still make this. I hardly used it because I was already using coconut oil and jojoba oil in my routines that I thought why did I just buy this cuticle oil? But for some reason, this cuticle oil moisturizes my cuticles way better than any of the oils that I have in my collection. It looks liquidy and lighter weight than my other oils, but it actually feels a lot thicker. You can see on my middle finger especially that I have a lot of dry skin there. And when I use the cuticle oil, that completely went away. You can also DIY your own cuticle oil. I'll put a recipe in the description box that I got from Google. I have not yet made my own because I own this, but in the future I will. But I definitely recommend paying attention to your cuticles, not just your hands. That will help to strengthen your nails. I forgot to show this one. The other hand treatment for lotion type or cream is the La Roche-Posay Lipicar Eczema Soothing Relief Cream. This is for eczema prone skin. This isn't just for the hands. You can also use this on the body and the face. This is my body cream that I've been using for about like two months now. This contains colloidal oatmeal, which is a skin protectant, and it's great at relieving irritation. And guess what? It's fragrance free. It also is steroid free in case you're wondering because most eczema treatments do contain steroids. I mean, well, mostly the prescription ones anyway. The texture of this one is thick. It's very thick. On the ingredient list, the second ingredient is shea butter. And you definitely feel that. So you see it's thick, but it melts really fast. You see that oily film there? I really like this for the body though, because I really feel moisturized for hours afterward. And for the hands, it feels exactly the same way. So if you touch something, you're definitely going to leave a greasy handprint on it. You can see for my cuticles, it works pretty well actually. I think it is in part to the shea butter in there. I wish they sold this in a smaller size, so in case I wanted to put this in my bag to take out with me. So if you do have eczema or irritated skin on the hands, like I do right here and here, this is a great option for you. So now here are some habits that you should develop when you are moisturizing and protecting your hands and your cuticles. So number one, every single time after you wash your hands, you must moisturize. So gently pat dry your hands and then go in with your choice of moisturizer. I always have coconut coconut oil, vanna cream, and aquaphor in the bathrooms. Actually, the CeraVe sits underneath my sink in the bathroom too, but I don't use that one as much as the other ones because my hands are really, really dry. I have my hand cream at my desk at all times just in case I like want to rush out of the bathroom and come back to my desk. And I do have my cuticle oil at my desk at all times too. The second habit that you have to develop is with any moisturizer that you use for any part of your body, but especially your hands, your cuticles, make sure that you take the time to actually rub them in. There's no point in taking your moisturizer and just putting it on your skin and then leaving it like that. With your cuticle oil especially, or if you don't have one, you're using a cream, an oil, an ointment, make sure you spend time and massage your cuticles and get the product absorbed into them. That's the only way you get your moisturizers to work for you. And of course, if you want to go about your business and touch things, make sure that they're at least 80% absorbed into the skin. And the third habit that you should develop is to do a weekly manicure. If you want to see my kind of extensive manicure routine, I will leave that video in the description box. I did that a long time ago, but I'm pretty proud of that video. It's pretty much a manicure routine that I've been doing for years. Just focusing on the cuticles. I really recommend using either a cuticle remover. I used to have a cuticle oil and it was fantastic. It was by Sally Hansen, but they discontinued it and I don't understand 
understand why. Within 15 seconds of applying that cuticle treatment, all of your dead skin on the cuticles would just come up and be so easy for you to remove or push back. So I decided to try out an ointment. None other than Aquaphor came to my rescue and it works just as well as that cuticle treatment. I also recommend you pick up a cuticle tool. I don't really like the cuticle remover, like those snipper things. It's too scary. And I don't really deal with cuticle skin that like comes up and I clip them. I just like a tool like this, which is a stainless steel tool. This is by Revlon. I'm not sure if they still sell it, but this is the best cuticle pusher ever. And because it's stainless steel, I never have to replace it. So I just apply a little bit of Aquaphor on my cuticles, wait for the cuticles to soften, and then I will take this cuticle pusher and push my cuticles back. And I do that every week so my nails look really good and really healthy. That really helps to moisturize my cuticles at the same time. And then of course after that, you go in with your cuticle oil and you moisturize the heck out of them. Give this video a thumbs up if it was helpful. Subscribe to see more videos. I would love to have you guys here. I will leave some related videos on the screen for you to watch any of them next.